everyone, I'm really excited because today I'm getting ready to go on the Knee High's first tour which is gonna be in New York City. We leave tomorrow evening. I'm just packing so I thought it'd be fun to kind of show what I'm bringing with, uh, clothes wise and then extras wise as well. So I already had started my packing process and I tried on two of the outfits and I'm not gonna retry them on just for time's sake, but I'll show you the items really quick. So one, I just got this thrifting with my parents actually. Happy camper. It's fitting for this like summer season. I love the green. And I think I'm gonna wear it with these pants. I feel like this would be a good travel day outfit, whether Friday morning when we wake up because we're stopping halfway, wearing this for the rest of the ride to New York or on the way home. But these pants were given to me by Octopus's Garden Vintage. Love these, super cool colors. And with that, I'll probably wear my favorite little pink sunglasses. And I'm guessing these cowboy boots, I'll probably just want to be comfortable and these are some of my most comfortable shoes. And then we just got these jackets in the other night um, from Straight to Hell, who gifted us the knee highs, that is, um, all these sweet jackets. The style is called Jackson, I believe, and they're not like too heavy, so it's a good spring summer kind of jacket. Then this outfit would be really cool for like um, getting up and going and getting some bagels for breakfast, which I'm so excited for. That's probably one of my um, things that I'm most excited about New York for is the bagels, along with my friends. My friends are number one, obviously, that are there, but bagels. So I think that I'll wear this white top for a cute little spring thing and then I've been waiting to wear these like mesh kind of pants and I'll wear some nude underwear with it. I feel like that'll be super cool. And then over top of that kind of like draped off my shoulders I think I'm going to do this vintage blue duster is so cute it's floor length let me actually like get a better angle to show you guys right like how cute is that it goes basically all the way to the floor too to go along with the kind of turquoise theme i think i'm going to bring these glasses which i actually bought for andrew their vintage 60s but i think they'll add kind of like a cool touch to that all white look and the turquoise with this too, probably. Now I've got to decide the rest of the outfits, so I'll be trying those on for you. <laughs> okay, this is another outfit that would be, oh, it's kind of dark, that I feel like would be really cute just for daytime activities in New York, whatever we get on up to, hopefully walk around, hopefully hit some thrift stores, vintage stores. I got on this skirt, which I thrifted. It's got pockets, which is nice. And it's actually a skirt, so that's double nice. I love the scalloped hem. Then this top that I thrifted. This is one of my favorite scarves ever. I love the kind of jagged edges and the patchworkness of it. And then also some of my favorite bracelets. Love the danglies in this one for my grandma, the little butterfly. And these sunglasses again, of course, trying to reuse as many things as possible. So I'm also thinking these shoes would be perfect with the outfit. Okay, here's another outfit, kind of a different vibe than if I want more of like the girly kind of looks that the other two days outfits were, I feel like. Vest, which is one of my favorite items from the 70s. This I thrifted. This belt I also thrifted, I believe. Sunglasses from the Hippie Shake. And then I think I'm gonna bring these black boots because I will definitely want a pair of black boots with. And um, I might wear these on stage one night. They're thrifted. One of my favorite pairs, I think they're 80s. Got a cool pointed toe and a really low heel. And I don't really, oh yeah, I do have some jewelry on. I have this necklace around my waist, which is fun, but I don't know if I really need any other jewelry. I have these necklaces that I always wear and then all this jewelry too, so. I think this would also be cool if it's like a chillier day and I wanna be wearing a jacket wear it with this. 
Here is another outfit, the first dress that I'm bringing, this really cute vintage, I think it's like actually a wool material, so it's kind of good for the spring weather when it's not too, too hot, but still good for a warm day with the sleeveless. I'm gonna bring this scarf, this is always a good one to have with just because it's a basic and it can um, match with basically anything if I kind of want to change up one of the outfits day of. I'm also going to bring this bracelet that I thrifted. Super, super cute. This choker, which is from my friend's shop, Mind Flowers. And then I'm going to bring these gigantic sunglasses, which are from Walmart, but love them. Um, and I think for shoes, I'll just be going with these again, try and get the most use out of them as possible. Plus, I feel like they're pretty comfortable for walking around, too. Um, it might not look like it, but platforms are very, very comfortable to walk in, opposed to just like a regular heel. Okay, this is one of my favorite outfits that I'm bringing with. I really like the dark with like the bright color contrast. That's one of my favorite things, just like visually. Um, then I'm wearing this super cute vintage hat, which I bought from my friend Ari. This top I thrifted. These shorts I got off of eBay. They're vintage, handmade. Um, I'm gonna wear that choker again, but this time I put on the charm that they also sell. Again, the shop is Mind Flowers. And I could probably wear this little butterfly bracelet again. Or, you know, the bangles too. Okay, here's another good travel day outfit. Depending what the weather's like, maybe I'll wear this on Thursday night when we start the road trip. Or maybe I'll wear this on Thursday night. It really depends what I feel like. I also might wear it, well, I'll show you when I try it on. Um, but this is a cute, comfy car day outfit or if I just feel lazy one day. Um, I've got my cowboy boots, which I'm already bringing. I've got some denim shorts, which are classic. Um, these are great to bring with because I can really mix and match with any other top that I bring, um, which happens a lot when I do plan out outfits. I end up kind of altering them day of. And then I've got to bring my lucky belt. And then this top, which I just thrifted. And I think it's super cute. And then of course, any of the sunglasses that I'm bringing would really work. And I think this jacket will be cute with it too. Okay, this is another really cute kind of alternate vibe outfit, just in case I'm not feeling like the more bright colored girly outfits that I brought with. I wanna kind of bring something kind of for a different mood. So again, the denim shorts that I wore for the last outfit and then this horizontal stripe, kind of like half sleeve turtleneck top, which I think is really cute. These red sunglasses again. And then I'm going to bring these shoes, which are little cream Prada kitten heels that I got off of eBay. Um, I think I'm gonna wear them for one of the show days, possibly. Plus they don't take up a lot of room and I could wear them with the other outfits too if I'm kind of feeling more of that but I think they add like a little dressy element to this otherwise pretty casual outfit so this would be fun one day as well the caps have fallen off these shoes and they're really falling apart but I don't care I don't think that you can really tell from um far away anyways so hopefully they don't totally fall apart <laughs> Okay, here's the final outfit option that I'm gonna bring with, and it's just this romper, so it's not really gonna take up any room, but if I really feel like being super comfy one day, I have this option, and this would be cute to sleep in, uh, to wake up and go get coffee for a late night gas station run, whatever, and I'm just wearing the cowboy boots. And jacket and then whatever glasses I really feel like that day but I wanted to bring this with because this has been one of my favorite pieces that I've been wearing recently I thrifted it but it says that it's from Fashion Nova um, but yeah 
Okay, here's a fun DJ outfit. I'll wear different underwear with this, um, probably like nude ones. But we're DJing on Friday night when we first get there at Arlene's Grocery. And I wanted to kind of do an outfit that I wouldn't normally play in on stage. Um, and I have this awesome bodysuit that was custom made for me by my friend Bianca. And I've worn it a ton for like Halloween. And then I'm going to wear probably these, which I'll probably wear them with other outfits if I bring them with as well, since I have the option, um, or at least try to. So we'll see how that goes. But I think that they're just like the only shoes that I can wear with this. And they're these silver sparkly platforms from Jeffrey Campbell. So I will be like the disco ball on Friday night. And I'll probably do some like cool black glittery makeup too to go with it and just keep my hair kind of down like flat and my natural texture. Okay, here's the show day outfit for Saturday and we're playing at Riverlad, which is going to be so fun. I'm really excited. I got this vintage showgirl outfit dance costume off of Facebook Marketplace for $10. I got it a long time ago and I've been waiting to wear this, so this seems like a very fitting occasion. I love the green and the super long fringe is killer. I'm wearing these black fishnets which have some silver Lorex kind of woven into them as well. And I think for shoes I'm going to go with the Jeffrey Campbell shoes again. They work perfect with the tights and they're just like kind of a statement so it goes with the showgirl theme that we are pulling off that evening and the final show outfit on sunday night which is at baby's all right i'm gonna wear this jumpsuit that was custom made for me by the creatures uh, shop the creatures on instagram super super sweet i've been such a huge fan of their stuff so I'm totally honored to have this and it's got dev up here, cute little hearts and lace detail. And then I think I'm going to reuse those black silver fishnets for the last outfit. And then I'll go with the black boots um, since this is already a lot. And then adding the hat to go along with kind of the stud theme. I'm sure at some point this will um, fall off, but It'll be cute for the beginning in photos, at least two. And those are all of my outfits that I'm going to be bringing with, um, besides like sleeping stuff and whatever. And um, so I'll just show you what else I'm bringing for everything else that I need. <laughs> I think before I continue on, I'm going to try to put all of my clothes in a bag. So I have some room to work here. But looking at this, I'm already starting to want to narrow it down a little bit. So I think I'm going to take out this outfit, just because I think it's like the least one that I'm likely to use. Um, it's a cute beach day outfit, but I don't know if I'm feeling like it's New York. But I think I'll probably still bring the sunglasses and necklace in case I want to wear them with another outfit, um, because they match the colors that I pulled really well. So I think I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna be wearing tomorrow for um, with these outfits as well. I'm gonna be driving later at night, so it might be chillier. I think I might go with the um, pants and these sunglasses. It'll still be light for a while at least. Um, I feel like that'll be a good start to things. I also kind of want to bring a pair of jeans just to have as like a basic as well in case it's a little bit cooler than I'm thinking, but if I remember remembering correctly, it's supposed to be like high 70s. Let me just check. Okay, Friday, 40% chance of rain, 79, Saturday, 77, Sunday, 77, Monday, 81. Okay, I don't think I'll need the jeans. Um, I've got a pair of shorts, so that's a good denim to have with, at least. All right, time to get this all in a bag. <laughs> okay, and then for the pajamas that I'm bringing, I don't really know what the sleeping situation is going to be. We're staying with a friend of ours, um, so I don't know if it's like cold in there. I brought a 
long sleeve shirt. This one's my favorite one. It's so comfy. It's ribbed and has lettuce hem. Um, and then I brought this, which is ideally what I'll sleep in because I hate sleeping with clothes on. It's super uncomfortable. But this is like my favorite tank top. And then I have these little pink shorts with cute and I have some long socks in case it's cold too and this I'll probably wrap up um, with my socks and underwear and a scarf and then for my show clothes I'm also gonna put them in a separate bag probably like this oh yeah and I'm also um, really important remembering to bring my like face wipe pads. My friend Olivia gave me these one year for like Christmas. Uh, they look dirty, but they are washed. They're just stained. But these are really nice because they get your makeup off super quick. And if you don't have a washcloth uh, readily available, these work perfect. So you can just pop them in the washer, reuse them again. Feeling prepared? Okay, now I've got some toiletries. Obviously some things I won't be packing until like tomorrow before I leave, but I'll pack my shampoo and conditioner. I won't need the hairspray, so I'm gonna just pack that up. Um, I have a rat tail comb in my travel bag, my travel toothbrush, um, which I need to cover up, and some lotion a razor, some toothpaste, some face toner, which I need to get some cotton balls and put in here quick. Um, and then I have a headband for washing my face and a scrunchie in case I can't find my clip, which is preferred and which is also something that I'll bring with, but I'm gonna use it tonight and tomorrow morning. So we'll wait on that. I'll clean out my makeup bag too and show you what I'm bringing makeup wise. Um, but right now I just put my Jeffrey Campbell, the sparkly ones, in these bags and in their box because I am really careful with these. I want them to stay nice because um, I can never afford to replace them and they don't sell them anymore. So I want to keep these super nice so I'm, I'm going to travel with them in the box. This box luckily has room for other things too so I'm going to put other items that I don't want to be smashed in there like my sunglasses and possibly this jewelry box, even though this could definitely be smashed, but I just keep all my jewelry in there. All right, ta-da, now that's perfect. Some other things that I'm going to be bringing, my Polaroid camera, which I need to get the strap on actually now that I'm talking about it and almost dropped it. Um, I'm bringing some film. This one's black and white, so I bet that'll be cool. Um, I might bring this game, which will be some fun prompts for us like on the ride over there. Pop in a few granola bars in case of emergency. Usually show day I need something like this. Um, so I might slip it in my bag with the costumes. And I'll probably put this near there too, my flask for emergencies as well. <laughs> Okay, a few more things that I'm going to be adding to my toiletry bag. Uh, the cotton balls and then the cotton swabs. And I'm putting all of my toiletries in this bag together. Including like hairspray and a brush and everything. This will just be easy to find since we're stopping Thursday night and spending the night in Ohio. Um, I want to have like the things that I'm going to need for that night be readily accessible so I don't have to take all of my bags out and rummage through everything um, just for that one night when we're going to be packing up and leaving in the morning. So I'll have all of my toiletries in here and I think that I'll end up taking some clothes that I plan on wearing Friday during the day out of the blue bag and set them um, I think in this one. This is going to be like my grad bag for Thursday night. So right now I just have the game in it. Stuff that I'm gonna probably want in the car. Maybe I'll put my notebook and um, pen in here and like a 
earbuds, a charger, um, some car snacks, whatever. Like this will just be by my side and then a pair of pajamas and clothes for Friday during the day. Um, I'm also gonna bring Pongs. This is what I use to get off my makeup. I also put a little bit on my face after I'm done washing my face as a moisturizer just because I don't have anything else right now. And then I have this retinol cream which for, is for nighttime and tea tree oil which I like to use if I feel like I'm getting a pimple. Um, so yeah, basically that. Okay, so I've got my stuff set out for Friday morning, so I'm gonna put these in my little grab bag. I just decided to go with the denim shorts and then the vest. I'm already changing up the outfits like I said I would, and the black belt. Um, and I took out the camouflage skirt because if I'm wearing the vest, with these, there's not really any other top that I wear with the skirt, so I figured I'd just lighten my load a little bit. And I just have out my pajamas for Thursday night. And I'm basically just going to tie these up um, so they're not loose in my little grab bag and getting in the way of everything else. Um, and I'll just put that at the bottom so I can still have my things that I'm gonna want in the car and my toiletries in there. And just my little extra stuff. Um, I'm also going to bring this notebook, which I'll draw in, and looks like I have some stuff in there, I'm curious. Oh wow, I think this is from moving. Yeah, it totally is. I forgot about all of my feathers and flowers that I stored in here that they wouldn't get destroyed along the way. And it seems like they lasted pretty well, so cheers to that. I put this in my cover bag. And then I'm gonna charge my camera tonight, but I will also be putting that in there. I also gotta charge my AirPods. Okay, and then for my makeup bag, I put everything in this little picnic basket kind of thing. Um, and I've cleaned it out, just trying to bring the essentials really. So I'm only going to bring one makeup palette, which is this one, and it's really got everything you need. If you don't follow my Instagram, you probably, I don't think I've talked about it on here yet, um, but I just did a collab with Miss Pamela with my makeup brand, Love Child Beauty, and we made this little palette booklet similar to her books that she writes and um, shares the story of her colorful life. So we got to kind of recreate that, but in a makeup palette. We have a page of all neutrals, so anything I need there. I've actually been using this one as blush, and I use this one as an eyebrow kind of color. Also, all of the colors that you could basically want, and you can mix from here too if you need something different. Um, I've also been mixing this into my blush, like just a tiny little bit, so I have a hint of more pink um, with the kind of more like reddish brown. And then these are all glitter, which are sick for on stage. I already used the gold and it looked sweet in photos from our last show that we played. And I'm thinking for the DJ night, I'll probably use the black all over my eyes, with the um, kind of sparkly cat suit. So I'm gonna bring this. I'm gonna bring this toning mist, which sometimes I just like to spray over my makeup um, before like I do mascara and my eye makeup and stuff. Like once I've done my blush and my powder, if I'm feeling super dry that day, I just spray this on top. Um, my face powder, which I've had forever. Cover girl. Um, the concealer, which I've had forever. Eyelash glue a pencil sharpener because I've been loving using some eye pencils which you'll see. Um, I'm gonna bring this candle, gonna have that, this oil, I'm actually gonna put a little bit on all of my bags. I'll put a little bit on the bottoms of each of my shoes too. Eyelashes are in here. I probably should have gotten some new ones but no actually these look pretty fresh so that's good. I'm gonna bring these three eye pencils, a white one. Um, this is a black eyeliner and I really like this for doing details that I'm afraid might get wiped away. Like a lot of times I'll put a little 
freckle here and this will stay forever. It's the Love Child Eyeliner. And then I've been really obsessed with this. It's like a brown, bronzy kind of eye pencil and I like putting it on kind of sloppily and just smearing it out. Um, and yeah, I think it's a cool look. So I'm gonna bring this because I've been using it all the time. And then I'm gonna bring the black one too just because these go really nicely together. I've got my brushes all in here. Um, I have little tiny hair bands for my braids, which I have to redo tonight after I dye my hair because I'm going to spruce it up a little bit, maybe even cut my bangs a tad. Um, chapstick, which I also have rubber bands all over. I'm going to bring my perfume, which I'm running out of, sadly, from Thin Wild Mercury. And then in here is a bunch of hair accessories, like, <laughs> like um, we've got some clips and bobby pins. Okay, here's what is going in my tour purse. Inside I already have my little notebook, perfect for holding Polaroids. Um, my bag with crystals, my coin purse. I'm keeping the kazoo. This hairbrush, which will be just my main hairbrush for the trip. I'm gonna keep in a tampon just in case. I don't think I'm gonna get my period, but possibly. Um, incense matches, of course. Whoa. And um, this lipstick, this could be really cute with some of the more spring kind of outfits that I brought with. Chapstick must have, nail file must have. This is good if I don't have time to do full makeup, just kind of run this through my eyebrows. Um, these are also good for that. They're lip pencils, but in a pinch I could rub a little bit on my cheeks for blush too. Hand lotion papers. I'm taking out one compact and putting it in my makeup bag um, for show use, and then I'm keeping this one in my purse. Uh, the new skin I'm gonna keep in there. Packet of gum, which I probably need to get another one out of the eye. I only have two pieces left. Um, my card holder, tiny perfume, tiny Tabasco sauce bottle, Sharpie and pen. And then this bag of life source. And then this fan, cause it's gonna get hot this weekend. I've got a fresh mask because I really do not want to get COVID while traveling. That would totally suck. Well, period, but especially while traveling. And then I just finally got some nice, um, what are they called? Earplugs? And it's got this nice little case. So I'm just gonna clip that onto my bag so that I always have that with me. Ta-da, that is my purse. I'm also gonna have my AirPods in there, but they are currently charging, so I will. Remember to put those in there when I grab my charger and my camera, which is also charging here. I added the ribbon to it for a strap. And basically this is everything that I'm going to be bringing on tour besides that I need, obviously, my base, some cords, a uh, pedal, and power source, and picks, and my boa. And that is all. Um, which most of that stuff will just be in two bags. So, guitar case and then another little bag like this pretty much. And that is everything that I'm bringing. I feel like I did a pretty good job too because I thought that I wasn't gonna be able to fit my shoes in a bag. And lo and behold, here they are fitting in the bag. I'm gonna wear my cowboy boots too. I tried to kind of plan wearing one pair of the boots at least since they take up the most room. Um, oh yeah, and then my makeup bag, of course, but it doesn't really take up a lot of space either. And these two will be sitting at my feet in the car. So, I think I did a good job on saving space and everything. And look out for the New York City tour vlog because that should be coming out hopefully soon after this because I'm going to try to vlog it. It should be fun. And I hope you all are having a fantastic day or night, whatever you're doing. Whiskey's here too. We both say goodbye. We love you and we'll catch you in the next one.